Today's video is a short one because the effect we're going to work with is a simple one but a really fun one to work with. Fisheye effect is a cool one to work with. You can use it to either create distorted images or footage for artistic reasons or you can just use it to fit more stuff into your shot. I like fisheye effect. <laughs> it looks cool in a weird way. Yeah. Okay, let's jump into After Effects and try to do it there and after that we will try to do it in Premiere Pro. But before that, if you enjoy what we do here, please remember to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon to be notified of our future videos. Also, remember to check our blog for more content we create every Monday and Thursday. Not all we create there will end up as a video, so make sure to check it out. Links are, as always, down in the description. Okay, After Effects. First things first, import your soon-to-be fisheye footage. There we go, now drag it to your timeline. Now inside the effects and presets panel, search for warp under distort and yeah, there it is. And then apply it to your footage. You can do it either by double clicking it while your footage is selected or just simply drag and drop it. Okay, the footage is definitely changed, but not what we are looking for. It is more like a circle and it has some empty black areas here. So to get your fisheye, you should now go to your project here and change the warp style to fisheye. That's it. You can change the bend value if you fancy, but there is just a matter of taste and the style of your footage. Okay, so we are done here. Let's go to Premiere Pro and see how it is done there. So inside Premiere Pro, after importing your footage to your timeline, search for the lens effect in the effects panel. Don't get overwhelmed by this bunch here. Just close the presets and there we go. It is here under video effects and distort. Now just drag and drop it onto your footage. Next, go to effects control panel and under the lens distortion, set the curvature to 100. As you can see now, we have some empty areas with sharp edges that we need to fix. To do so, under the transform, increase the scale until the screen is filled. Fortunately, our footage is a high resolution one and can handle the amount of scaling. So that is also a factor you need to bear in mind when planning to use this effect. Just as a final touch and in order to make the video look more fisheye-like, I'm gonna come here to opacity and add an eclipse mask. The idea is that to create that halo you normally see when the video is shot using a fisheye lens. So I'm gonna adjust my mask to a bigger circle that is going to move outside the band of my frame. Finally, adding some feathering to the mask to get rid of the sharp edges. 